What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I really appreciate you tuning in. We are back here in my 2006 350Z. We're sitting in some traffic right now, as you can tell, but we're actually on our way over to college or to class, I guess I should say. We're on our way over to class because school's about to start and we're gonna be late. But this video is about what being a college student or what being a student in general is like owning a 350Z. Is it worth it? This guy's just gonna cut over. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I guess, I guess. At least we're bright red, you know, people see us. That's always good. Um, I'm getting over, I'm getting over, I'm getting over. Thanks. So we're getting onto the freeway right now. And if you commute a distance in a 350Z to go to college or something, it's really not too bad. This thing gets pretty good gas mileage on the freeway. It's not like a truck or anything. You know, I've, I've heard some trucks get really terrible gas mileage. Let's go, brother. I'm going. like when I'm giving it the beans. This thing, it, it smells like oil. Not like terribly bad, but it's just got this nice, just oil scent to it. And I, I, I like it. I personally have gotten like used to that smell. But here we are cruising down the freeway. This is Friday morning, so it's really not terrible out right now. Uh, but a few things I did want to talk to you guys about. So I'm going to start it off with the two or three things that I think make this car kind of hard to own as a college student. And then I'll reel it in with the things that I think are good reasons as to why you would want to own one of these as a college student. All right, so the very first thing I want to talk about that would make this kind of an interesting or kind of a little hard to own is usually when you go to college or even in high school when you get your car, most people just are getting their license and they don't have a lot of experience driving. And so this kind of goes hand in hand with two different things. One thing, I'm going to get it out of the way. Obviously, when you have no driving record whatsoever, the insurance companies are a little more worried about you getting behind the wheel of like, you know, a two-door sports car. Just, I mean, obviously that's not like a weird thing. I think anyone would be a little worried, but this car has quite a bit of power. And especially when you put someone young that just got their license behind it, it can be a little worrisome, but I'm not going to lie. It's not like a Lamborghini, you guys. Like this is not some insanely powerful Ferrari or something that you're going to, you know, go around a corner and spin it into the bushes accidentally like it's fast like don't get me wrong and you can get yourself into a lot of trouble but I got to get over there so we're gonna get over there real quick the semi trucks getting over coming over all right all right we're looking good we're looking good Riverside San Bernardino. Head this way on the fork to the college. Um, they're not like super fast, but they're definitely gonna be faster than like that Corolla right there. And it's rear wheel drive. So if it's raining or snowy, you definitely have to think about the fact that it's a rear wheel drive car. And, and it can be really easy to kick the back end out when you're not paying attention. Jeez, look at these Priuses, you guys, hauling. And, and that can honestly be a good thing. Like if you're looking for a fun car that you can kind of kick the back end out and you know slide around a little bit when it's raining, this is gonna be a great car for that. Obviously, keep in mind that those actions usually don't reflect very well with the police or anyone else in the community. So I don't honestly recommend doing that stuff. Like I would wait for a track day, somewhere where you can really test your skills. Just be really cautious when it's raining and wet outside and you should be fine. So those are two pretty big points I would think about if I was going to buy a 350Z as a student. But like I was saying about the positives, I mean, this car is so awesome. Like when you roll up on the scene, any car meet, any car show, I mean, 350Z is a 350Z. Like it's got that egg shape. I think the 350Z is gonna be one of the more iconic Japanese sports cars just because of the way it looks. The smooth styling, the aggressive front and back. I just think compared to everything else in the market, I think the styling was way ahead. So here we are, Scott Road, you guys. This is where I'm about to get off. We got about a mile, Scott, half mile. So to go to this college, you technically could go down to the next off ramp. I like to get off at this one just because it's a little less busy, but we're gonna find out right now. So one thing about the 350Z I find myself thinking about pretty often is the tires. This being a rear wheel drive sports car, you can kind of expect the tires to go just a little faster than like a normal car like that Cadillac right there. It's just the rear tires. Like a lot of people say that you end up replacing all the tires pretty often, but I find the rear tires tend to go a little bit faster than the front tires. I mean, it's pretty obvious, it's rear wheel drive. So it's gonna be gripping a lot more in the back. So I wanna say I got these tires about six months ago and I think I had them swapped on the back just to even the wear a little bit more about three months ago. So they're probably honestly due for another swap here, but definitely swapping your tires or getting them switched to the other side will actually 
you know, definitely extend the longevity or the life of the tire. You, you can almost get twice the life out of the tire when you swap it at the correct time. Here we are, you guys. We're at MSJC. This is my little community college that I go to. Well, not really little. As you can tell, it's Friday and not very many people are around here. I'll show you where I used to park, though. I used to park right here with the homies. Right here. Let's get out for two seconds. Take a look at this thing and then we'll jump back in and go for more of a cruise. Man, it's been a while since I've been here, I'm not gonna lie. You know what the funniest thing, you guys, is like the very first day of school, this entire parking lot is full. Like you cannot find parking spots. When me and my friends come, we can never find a spot to park next to each other, but as the year goes on, because these classes aren't too much, because it's community college, it's so funny, less and less people come to school, and I'm telling you, when there's like a month or two left of school, there's like 15 cars left out here, and it's just so sad. Like, no one sticks it out. Okay, you guys, so, remember how I was saying, like, drifting around is pretty fun, but it's pretty dangerous if you don't have, like, a closed area? A parking lot this big is gonna be good. I mean, it has these poles. You know, these poles are definitely, you're gonna wanna stay away from these, because, I mean, that would do some damage right there, but I don't, I don't condone drifting. I don't recommend drifting, obviously, in public areas, especially at schools. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Find the private property. So the only thing that sucks, you guys, this place has some gnarly speed bumps, like speed bumps that you wouldn't even believe. You wouldn't even believe. So I'm not gonna go in. I, I would drive through over there, but the speed bumps are just so terrible. All right, so I can't remember what the exact EPA is. I think it's 16 city, 24 highway or something like that, which in my opinion is really not that bad. I think that's pretty good for a V6 like sports car. So I actually took a bunch of digital media classes because I'm like a technology buff secretly. I took some virtual reality classes down over there and I freaking loved that. The VR stuff is just underrated, I think. There was literally 10 people in our virtual reality class and we were learning how to make virtual reality like scenes and stuff. And like, I just was so shocked no one else was down there, but you guys, personally like I just don't know what I want to do in college like I'm going to college right now just to get my associates but I don't know what if I want to do anything after that and I love this YouTube channel and I love cars so if I could find something that is related to cars that would be cool but I don't know let me know if you guys are in the same boat because I just don't know what I want to do in this world like there's just so many things I don't want to just pick one you know like I don't want to like pick the wrong thing so it's like what do you do it's like I feel like that's why most people don't choose what they want to be when they grow up because they don't want to pick the wrong thing and it's not necessarily for monetary gains it's mostly just because they don't want to pick something they're not going to enjoy you know so that's my life right now like i just don't even know what i'm doing you guys so i think this youtube channel is working out in a way to where i can do this which would be everything i've ever wanted since i was like 10 years old making youtube videos so that would be cool. So to kind of conclude, would I personally recommend this 350Z or any 350Z for a student going to college or high school? Absolutely. I think if you have, you know, self-control of your right foot, you know, on the pedal, and you're not just going to be flooring it around every corner in the rain, as long as you understand the capabilities and the limits of this car. So watch my other videos, you know, I talk about it a lot. You should be completely fine. So... Think, if I can think of anything else on the top of my head, it's super easy to park. Like the car's not really big. Like if you're a new driver, you know, it can be kind of intimidating parking cars and parking lots. This thing is super easy to park. All right, guys. So overall, would I recommend a 50Z to someone going to school? Absolutely. I think, you know, going to school is the best time to own a car like this, you know? for joining us if I can think of anything else on my way home right now I'll drop them in the comments below that would you know be useful to know for a student if you have a 50z and you're a student and you want to add something go ahead and drop it down below in the comments as well all right guys so it was perfect timing my SD card just filled up in my GoPro I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope you learned something let me know in the comments if you did or if you drive a 50z to school right now let me know if there's anything I missed or if there's anything you've learned over the time that you've driven it that you wish you knew thank you guys once again for tuning in I really appreciate you and we'll see you in the next video Peace.